What's the crack lads? Welcome back. We're back. Thank you guys for the patience the last couple of days, but we will be streaming in a little bit. But first we're going to do a roundup of everything. We're over here on... What's happening? Are we crashed? Oh, there's just a new video with no graphic. That's weird. So there is a brand new season after kicking off. This is season six and we are going to get straight into that and give a quick roundup of everything, give a quick roundup of what's new, what's been happening, and also seeing if there's anything that has been added that we can go into in the live stream. Bring the energy, bring the noise, what a name. You've got Trent talking here about his card with that is going to be coming. You've got Gerard going to be coming as well. You've got new Romario. And this is to celebrate eFootball uh, 2024, and it's kicking off the new season, uh, the new Brazilian League season. So you've got Stevie G here as a new Epic. You've got Trent as a new card that's going to be coming as well. Um, listen, I feel like Jared is going to be a good card. I've been kind of fairly down on Jared's card so far. He just never seems to be able to do it for me. You know, he never seems to cause any issue for me if I'm playing against him. I haven't used him that much. Trent is definitely going to be a beastly player. I'm going to show you in the live stream later a very rare Trent card for anybody that hasn't played the game since day one. We had the Ambassador Trent card. I'm going to show you that card um, that a lot of people might have it. This is obviously based on that Barcelona goal um, that he had a hand in. Um, so yeah, I mean, Trent is definitely going to be a good card with the way that right backs are at the moment, I definitely feel like that nobody's going to touch wan or Bergomi unless they tweak the aggressive AI and the assistance with the aggressiveness of the AI defensively. You also have David Seaman here, going to show you a couple of the epics. Um, 97 overall, you have another Zico. This Zico card, obviously fans will recognize this card a little bit as well, but there's some nice epics in here. Uh, Takahara's in there as well. There's a couple of new epics to, that they're going to be adding as well. Um, so it is going to be interesting. Obviously, you've got Figo here as well. Figo's got no rating as of yet. That's something new that they're now uh, kind of withholding. Clybert again with another booster. He's been in the database for a while, as has Figo. So there's a lot of stuff to get into here. Uh, I think when we do look at season six, Saviola is definitely going to mix up the meta a little bit for those kind of running guns center forwards like Romario. Some people don't really kind of like rate Saviola, but I definitely will be giving him a good go. Now, we also have manager packs as well. So we kind of knew this was going to come. Um, you've got two manager packs. You've got Guardiola and you have Xabi Alonso. We'll go in and have a look at those as well. And then you also have this brand new E-Liga event that's starting off as well. So they seem to be kind of going the esports route with a lot of different things. Um, we'll get into that a little bit later on because obviously that's going to be something that doesn't really you know, impact a lot of a lot of people, you know, a lot of people don't play this game, you know, at the esports or competitive level, um, but yeah, it's mostly about the campaigns and the events and the freebies and all that sort of stuff, we've new nominating contracts, we're just going to show this here and get into it in a little bit more detail, as I said, I will be streaming later on, Romario, this is going to be a fairly nice Romario card you would expect as well, Romario is definitely my favorite center forward in the game, so, you know, I mean, will I spin for him, I'm not too sure yet, because I already have him, but this is everything with season six. So let me know your thoughts on that. But we're going to get into everything here and just have a quick look at everything here um, with the kickoff campaign and stuff like that. So you've already got these campaigns going on. We already have some free stuff added to the inbox. As I said in yesterday's video, the eFootball League, the brand new phase is starting with that. So that's going to be kicking off. You have the e English League, you have Tr uh, Trent and you have Stevie G as the cards today. Um, but firstly, just to go into the match here and go into the events. And as I said, I will be playing divisions again today. You've got all of these. So co-op is back. Co-op is back here with the skill training programs. You've got the golden goal here. You've also got the Brazilian clubs. This is going to be online. You've also got the Japanese clubs and the English clubs is still ongoing versus is the AI then that is going to give you your free player of the week spin you've also got this free player of the week spin with that one the dream team tour event for Manchester United is still ongoing I'm after clicking into that and then of course we also do have the English clubs um, which is ending in three days time beat the clock is already done and dusted so that's going to be where you get your free coins against the AI and uh, your free player of the week spins against the AI and your coins against online we also have back into divisions. We are, you know, relegated to Division 4. Uh, I didn't actually, I don't think I even played enough, man. But this this season is going to run to the 9th of May, which is the 9th to the 5th. And then also, they haven't touched any of the match pass rewards or the rewards. But speaking of match pass, we do have a brand new match pass here. Um, 
Shabazzlai is in there as well as Lookman for the value and the premium. They're going to be 500,000 each. And then, of course, you just get all the rinse and repeat. So your five star nominating contracts. There's a couple of players in here that we can take a look at, including these ones, the classic number 10s and a couple like Alaba that they've added new. So we're going to get into that. So that's basically the events. Uh, the campaign, obviously, as we already saw, is going to be the Brazilian League one, and that kicks off the brand new Brazilian League. None of these are loading for some... Oh, yeah, they are now. So that's going to be the highlight Brazilian clubs. We got that as a login bonus, and then you're going to get three or two Brazilian clubs and 50 coins for the campaign objectives, as well as two player of the weeks with the tour event, and then the teamed event is going to give you your coins, um, and the challenge event is going to give you your XP and your trainers and all that sort of stuff. So that's just kind of normal as as we have known it for the last while um now as i said with the contract situation here with the new managers and stuff like that the new manager packs Guardiola from the 13-14 season and Javi Lanza from the 23-24 season so Leverkusen and Barcelona uh Pep so or no this would have been this would have been Man City Pep no no it wouldn't have been um but this Pep here obviously with Bayern Munich is who he would have been with I, I forgot he was with Munich for a minute he's got 88 possession game and he's going to give tight possession to all stats this is going to be the meta manager I think going forward lads this is going to be insane we'll get into that later on in the stream and then also as well with Xabi Alonso he's going to be 500 coins and this is his manager here it says unaffiliated but he's going to give acceleration plus one with quick counter 88 so you are looking at two of the most meta most broken managers now in my opinion that are going to be added here so we're going to be testing those out live on stream as well 500 coins each it's not too bad i suppose for these managers and what you're going to be getting with the plus one stat to tie possession and to acceleration english league j league worldwide player of the weeks you also have the manchester united and all the league selections still going on and then the all-rounders and of course you have the classic number 10s the J League and the Liga BBVA all nominating contracts. So there's four nominating contract packs here from varying degrees. You've also got, which is interestingly enough, you've got this Giroud who can play in goals and he can also, you know, have his graphic as a goalkeeper, which is quite funny. Um, but he can play in goals or centre forward and he's obviously going to have super sub, area superiority, all that sort of stuff as a target man there as well. You've got a couple of other players in here that we'll go into... I mean, we'll we'll sign a few of these. We'll sign a few of these. I think Alaba is definitely worth looking at. I would also say Minamino and Cancelo are probably worth looking at. The rest of the players are kind of a bit hit and miss. But we'll definitely take a look at a couple of these boys and try them out today. Um, especially for player of the week, these could be very, very, very nice. You also have the J-League players. There's a couple of nice players here on this as well. You don't need to train these up. You can just get them straight off. So we'll have a look at those. And of course, we'll also have the Liga BVA ones here, um, which you don't need to train up either. These are players of the month. So Sergio Gonzalez is always a really good player. We'll have a look at those in a little bit more detail as well. The classic number 10s have been there for a while. All eyes are probably going to be on the English League Guardians though. There's a nice pack here with Trent, Stevie G and David Seaman. And then you also have Celeba, uh, Caicedo, John Stones. You've got Emerson Royale um there's a lot of good players here i think trent is going to be the big one crossing plus two he's going to have brilliant player skills that you can train up as well you know speed acceleration 33 levels loft the pass curl is huge low pass is really good for an attacking right back or a, a right midfielder very very strong card aggressive aggression could be a little bit higher but his tight possession his balance is really really nice as well that's a very very nice trent card from liverpool's 18 to 19 season which is very very nice card and then you have stevie g from 0405 box to box as i said i haven't i haven't really rated steven g stevie g over the last couple of uh, iterations of eFootball. um you know from eFootball 22 23 and now eFootball 24 i haven't really rated him too highly i don't know why that is i just feel like anytime i'm playing against him he just doesn't do anything against me you know um you know he's not fast enough as a box to box to go far with the ball his dribbling his balance and he's not defensive enough to be a, your defensive midfielder. So it's kind of an interesting one. But he can play CMF, AMF, or DMF. He's down as a DMF box to box. He's got dueling and he's also got fighting spirit. He doesn't have one touch pass, which is a bit of a bummer that you'll need to train him with that. He also doesn't have low, or he does have low lofted, but he doesn't have true passing. So there's a couple that he'll definitely need to be put on there. And then David Seaman. I think obviously Seaman is going to be a player that people will like to have, especially if you're an Arsenal fan. High punt, doesn't have low punt or long throw, which is a bit of a pity. 
Um, but yeah, he looks pretty decent with his render there. Let me know what you think about these. We'll get into these. We'll probably do a few cheeky spins for these later on in the stream as well. Stevie G would be nice to have. I mean, I know he's going to go into the 90s with 34 levels. Salab is also good, but we'll do a full review of these later on uh, today. We'll have this fully video, full video out. And then the J League epics are there and the Player of the Weeks. We'll have a look at the Player of the Weeks as well. Kind of a disappointing Player of the Week pack, I would say. Um, but finally, we do have a speedy Van de Ven. This guy is a beast. Very, very nice with the booster. He's going to have really nice speed and he's going to have meta uh, defensive stats. Everything's going to be in the 90s. This could be a really, really good card to get as well if you get lucky with him. Havertz is there. Lewis is there. Uh, Ward Pros is there. Adley is there. There's a couple of guys there uh, that we predicted would come yesterday. So that is it for just a cheeky roundup, lads. I don't think there's anything in the eFootball Point store, but let me just double check for you guys. We also have brand new objectives within the match pass. The eFootball Point store, I don't think there's anybody there from what I saw earlier. No, there isn't. But that is pretty much it. Managers, players, new campaign, new season kicking off. We will see you guys later on in the stream. Hope to see you later. And uh, yeah, it's been a while. So we'll catch up with you all. Peace.